Calvin Castine at Northeastern Clinton Central School. It's the 9th day of May 2017. And every year on the 9th day of May, I like to point out that uh, back in 1966, 51 years ago now, I started work at Sheridan Company, which was to become the Harris Graphics Corporation in Champlain. And worked there for nine years. And somehow that date's always stuck in my mind. However, we're not going to be looking at the Harris Graphics or Sheridan Iron. We're here to look at this crew, this, uh, excuse me, track and field event, not cross country, track and field event. Team in black, those are the Plattsburgh High School Hornets. And, and Cougar Maroon, it's the Northeastern Clinton Central School Cougars. Cougar girls do not have a team entered. This is the four by eight. So it'll be two Plattsburgh teams running. They must have lots of players, lots of participants, so they're you know, letting extra girls run. Now, last time we were here, Cougar girls did not compete in this event, but they did end up taking the meet. And obviously, their numbers are down. That was two times around, and uh, Plattsburgh and both the boys and girls are highly favored in this. Temperature is 45 degrees. Let me shut our vehicle off, and it's uh, overcast, a slight breeze, thankfully not a strong wind, but a slight breeze. All in all, uncomfortable. We'll try to capture as much of this as we can. Uh, if, the, if it starts to rain, we will not be able to stick around. It's a Tuesday. He's got the first leg of his 4 by 8 done. So it's two times around. It's a relay. I'm uh, here in my winter coat with a couple layers on, and I, <laughs> I'm cool <laughs> watching these kids out there, and I can only imagine how cool they are with, when they're not running. We're going to be heading ready for the first handoff. We've got a lot of people right next to the track for some reason. We're going to have to move over a bit maybe here just so we can see the runners coming in. Ann Lynch, the coach for the Cougar Girls. Bill Forky, the coach for the boys. Don't know who the coaches are for the Hornets. Lots of people with a comfortable lead. Completing the first leg of the race. Here comes the Cougar handoff. There comes the first handoff for the girls for Pittsburgh. Now that makes a little more <laughs> sense to me on a cool day like this, to have running gear like that. Get warm if you can. And the Hornet boys are about to lap this particular girls team. I just had a comfortable lead for Plattsburgh. And as always, there's throwing. 
and jumping going on. Distance and high jump. Here comes uh, Kuku, your three eighths through. Look out here, don't go wandering onto the track there, you with the hood. Looks like that fellow's just about caught the, uh, uh, his uh, handoff partner just got out there in time, he's been goofing off on the side. Okay, girls are three eighths of the way through. Get ready for the second cougar handoff. There we go. And the leaders are five eighths of the way through. The right, girls' leaders will be halfway through in this handoff. You don't see any high jumping. You don't see anybody about to long distance jump here, long jump. Here we go. Just a practice run, I guess. Here comes that second Plattsburgh team for their girls' handoff. And so they're halfway through. The Cougar boys are five eighths of the way through. boys their final handoff and the leading team for the girls is now going to be Five eighths of the way then. Lance at the throwing. Notice when we were here last time that the Cougars had one of the leading throwers in the in the CBAC last year, and she's not competing this year. Next time I buy an ice cream cone and more, so I'll have to ask her why. One more lap for Plattsburgh, two for the Cougars as they have their final handoff.
Uh, well, let's see, she's got uh, one more lap and another handoff for the girls. So we have a throw coming up. And it rolls. That's where it lands though. There's a handoff, just the team that's leading. They've got two to go. And here's your winner. Cougars have another lap. End of the race. Cougars have another lap to go. There's the last handoff here. She should have one lap to go, and the Cougar Boy will be finishing. She has one more lap, and the Cougar Boy finishes for the Cougars. About a minute, 10, 16 or so behind Plattsburgh. These are your throws. And the folks who are helping out over there. Getting ready for hurdles. Get out of the way of the hurdles there. Hurdles will be next. Okay, she has another lap. And here's your winner for the girls. Once again, the Cougars and girls did not compete in this event. The numbers are down, so they just don't have the numbers to, to do that. And these games uh, are not operate without the volunteers from the community and parents to help come in here and help out with uh, a variety of activities, including helping to measure. and uh, time, move hurdles, all that good stuff. So if you're looking for something to do, there's only f maybe four, unusually four home, five of the most uh, drag meets. Feel free to uh, volunteer. You can use all the help they can get, keep these events moving. 
Oh, and she crosses. This will complete the 4x8. And this track meet is underway here at Plattsburgh at Northeastern. As I said, this is May 9th. It's Tuesday. Yesterday we passed up a baseball game. I don't know if this one on the right is going to be a modified jumper or what, why they're segregated like that. Passed up a baseball game because of the weather. It, it was spitting a little bit of rain, a little bit of sleet, occasional snowflake. I've had similar weather today on this May 9th. And reporting to the newspaper in the uh, softball game at Ellenburg, Northern Adirondack last night, snowed throughout the game. So it's not very really spring-like weather. It looks like the guy in the left for the Hornets here is going to, in a second, <laughs> this guy here is going to right here. The guy in the right for the Hornets. All right, so... Let's take this event. The hurdles. Not much happening at the high jump. And not much happening on the distance jumps, the long jumps. We got a thrower. Kidding, huh? They moved some of the hurdles and they're lowering them, so looks like girls will be next. Sometimes there are two heats. One of the schools has extra people who want to compete. As you can see, it takes a, a lot of hands to keep this event moving. That's what the uh, they utilize a lot of modified team members to uh, keep this going. The girls jump a little bit high, lower than the boys. Both coaches put on a lot of miles in the course of a, of a day's event. All right, this ref will wave the flag. Ref down that away will raise the gun when he's ready. Guns up. Set. Whoa. One on the right, the modified had a problem. First race, but the Plattsburgh girl on the right is leading. Whoop! That last hurdle. Last hurdle. The uh, Plattsburgh girl had a problem with it and uh, allowed the Cougar to, uh, to win the event. So 
uh, W in the Cougar column. The baseball game, actually a couple baseball games going on. The attack on the Roga Sentinels are here. Facing the Cougars. And JV and Varsity Baseball. Looks like they're moving the hurdles, so the hurdles are all over. And not having much luck catching an active jumper here. And you can see how many hands they've got down there helping out. Didn't see the judge at this end, so we didn't. Uh, we got here. Uh, let's see. We got a we got us a race here, don't we? The Cougar won. The Cougar. Woo! The Cougar won. Oh, is that even that? Oh, that was good job, man. Quite the race. We didn't. Uh, first of all, we were chatting with <laughs> Coach Forky, and we didn't see the second judge down here raising his hand. Uh, we looked down and decided to hit the camera on button and we just have missed getting the sound of the shot as the race started. And uh, apparently the Plattsburgh girl was disqualified to get disqualified for the how she got over that hurdle. You can't uh, oh, I'm so sorry. step on it. You can't step on it. Uh. <laughs> that girl deliberately walks in front of me. <laughs> so I'm so sorry. The two uh, teammates walk behind me. Uh, here we go. We got a flag up. So apparently you can't step on the hurdle and go over it. <laughs> Waving that flag. Not sure what we got coming up here. I think more guy is coming, huh? Yeah, they're waiting, waiting, waiting for you, bud. There we go. Gun is up. The Hornets will finish first and second. Go <laughs> should be next. And the jumper landing over there. Jumpers over here. Should be going up momentarily. More guys? Holy cow. It's going to be a long meet if we got to have all these extra heats. came in that first heat, the overall winner. That's the only one that really counts. But, uh, who knows, somebody might just get just struck by lightning and have a super fast race here. 
Well, let's look to see if we got a jumper here. Nope. And down at the distance, uh, like the tape is out there. Nope. Not quite. There's a distance jump on landing over there. Gun is up. I'll move over so I'll be out of the lane in case we get some uh, but his parachute doesn't open that's very gonna take it Jumper. Flag is up. Cougar will take this one. <laughs> Went into our left for the throwing, nothing. Maybe a jumper right here. Just landed over that way. Looks like another heat. Like they're all hornets. Five of them. And second from the right is going to be the winner in this little heat. And we got a jumper here. thinking about it. <laughs> Changed their mind. Okay. 
boys and girls at the same time. One more time. Alright, we got the girls lined up there. So that's the 1500 and boys here for the 1600. A lot of folks entered in this one. I will always point out that unlike cross country, it's just the uh, whoever finishes first is the winner. Uh, you don't uh, add up team points, so if somebody finishes first and the other team finishes the second, third, fourth, and fifth, it don't matter at all. Just the one who finishes first. Uh, I'm going to turn around and see what's happening in the baseball game. Got a cougar at bat here. Ticonderoga visiting Northeastern. Foul ball. The judges to synchronize. Gavin, don't wait too long for your move, buddy. There we go, a whistle. Whoop. <laughs> the kids heard the whistle and they took a false start and then they. And they have to take off. So <laughs> they'll all be half a second slower than they normally would be. Oh, it's a mile around by the time they finish, that is. Four times around, I believe, is a mile. Laps to go. And the boys got to run around that group. Three laps to go. Watching viewer supported local television hometown cable. If you are watching this, we need your support to keep this programming coming. Uh, I'm not here because I enjoy standing out in the chilly, chilly air. Here to give coverage to the community, to the kids, try to cover as as many events as, as feasible in a very short spring season about all the elements and other events I know later this week I'll miss uh, some games because of uh, dance recital I got dance recitals we got Clinton Community College graduation got concerts next week that's going to take us away from some events as your leaders, we try to cover much of the community as we can. Unfortunately, only a small portion of the community actually supports our efforts financially. We get a lot of attaboys, way to goes, but uh, not a lot.
lot of uh, here's a here's something to keep the programming coming. So if you're watching this, we need your support to keep hometown cable on the air. Felt mighty comfortable at home this afternoon. With the heater going and uh, <laughs> looking out in the window. Felt mighty comfortable to be able to stay there instead of come here. But we're here. And we'll stay till uh, the rains come. I think they've got one lap to go. I didn't hear a gun. I think they ran with a gun messed up there. I think that's their third lap. Goofed up with the gun. So they were getting that gun lap. They uh, goofed up. There's our first cougar. This could be a girl winner right here. Cougars, girls win this one. Look out. There we go. This guy's got another lot to go. Some folks finishing strong here. And we got a uh, couple of boys left on the track. We'll check for jumpers. Nobody. Rowers. Nope, almost nothing happening that way. Hey, right, here comes uh, one of the two that are out there. Finishing strong. And it's the PHS girl finishing up here. Uh, 
might be coming up shortly. Continues to be mainly overcast. Again, if it starts to rain, we'll have to depart. So hopefully the precipitation will hold off till after the event. We have a four by one coming up. It's 400 meters around the track. Every 100 meters they will hand off. Here we go. Referee says, you're ready. There's one where you've got to stay in your in your lane. Guys, a little quicker off out of the gate, wasn't he? Handoff is pretty clear. Whoop, whoop, whoop! Not a good handoff. For Plattsburgh. There's only a certain area where you can hand off. Pretty even on the handoff. His hand out first, and they drop the baton. Come on, Dad! Cougars might have taken this one anyway, but uh, they dropped the baton. So it's a victory for the Cougars, and uh, up next should be probably the girls doing the same thing. Here's the jumper. He's landing over there. Should have a high jumper right here. Oh, most times we don't see a drop baton or we'll be tripping over a hurdle. We've seen both today. Yeah, successful leap. by one coming up I would expect very shortly. here for McDonough. I think she won it last time I was here. She's at a new level. She cleared that other level when we were off. No Cougars in this one. Two Plattsburgh teams competing in the 4x1. You can tell from the handoff how much the lead the team has. Thank you. 
There's a winner. Now where it landed. And the person at this end will see how what the distance was. And looks like the jumping is over. A high jump that is. Unlike the majority of the events that uh, high school sports fans attend, uh, there's no place to sit at these. So you got to stand. You get some old fellow like Roland over there. Good thing he's got a fence to lean on. No stand, nothing to sit on here. Stagger, so it's probably just a one time around 400. Guessing one time around here. Gun is up. He's waiting. I'm ready. Set. Here's a jumper. Whoa. <laughs> Makes it look easy, doesn't he? Keep it up, Jordan. Hit the fellow on the right. He's in the lead. Let's go, Garrett! On it with the yellow shoes. Coming on strong. Oh, boy. If that wasn't a photo finish, I don't know what it was. Well, we got three more runners for Plattsburgh that want to go. So they're going to go. Thank <laughs> you. 
little photo finish this time. Just three girls running, all from Plattsburgh. Looks like the one in the center. Yeah, just some time for a discus. Bring the hurdles up. Here's the 400 hurdles. Two cougars and three hornets. Uh, the lead by the time they jump. It's like second place is close. Finish third in this race. Go, Leo! 
Don't know the first plants per year. Finisher will count. Hurdles. Alright, we've got the girls in a uh, little 400 hurdles now. One cougar. to follow this. Let's watch the hurdling. Looks like the cougar is in a lead just by a half a step at the moment. Continues to be just a bit in the lead. Stretching it out. Looks like the Cougars are going to win it. Oh yeah, he's going to take this. Whoops. There she goes, that last hurdle. I think this is two events she's taken that I can recall here. Looks like the jump, jumping is done, and there's still some throwing to be done, I believe. So I don't have to execute I think this might be an 800 here. We'll find out soon enough. 800 will be two times around. They're going at a decent clip. There was some jumping going on while we were off camera. This fellow here, he jumped quite high. That guy with the gray sweatshirt, he jumped pretty good height. Like three hornets in the lead. This will be the finish here. So we'll get out of the landing zone. Oh. Fell 
Well, here will be your winner. Point out every time that they'd uh, put numbers on these people, we could uh, pass along who they are. We know a few of the Cougar kids, so we try not to get too much involved in mentioning names because it's not fair to all the others. I think up next will be the girls 800. Uh, I guess the distance jumping is not over. Girls are next for the 800. Chilly day, 45 degrees, and we shut our vehicle off. Ruff is about to raise that gun. Yep. Whoa, that was fast. Two times around. Look out! Ouch! That's not a good landing. Connect in the first lap. your leader. Oh, 
let's go in a couple of events today. Like the 200 meters is next. I cannot see the other referee. There he is. Gun is up. 200 meters, a little sprint to the finish line here. Hopefully each boys and girls will each only have one heat in this. We said at the start this might be our own next, our only, our last visit. We've been here one other time. Very short season, and we try to pack in as much as we can. Move it, let's go, let's go. I'd say the figure won. He won. That's his second event. That's his. That's at least this. Uh, at least this second victory. I won by my nose. Well done. You see what I did? Gun is up. Looks like another boy's heat. Oh, yeah, the dud. Not a dud, I would have just saw that bang. Still loading there. Forty-five degrees and it feels forty or less with the wind. You gotta feel it's gotta feel in the thirties right now. Wind chill. There we go. It's like four hornets and two cougars. Heat the guy uh, in the middle here. Oh, on it. Took the bow. Let's see who's the winner. Uh, we still have some more hornets on a run. Oh, another heat. This is what helps makes the, these meets a lot longer because you get if your winner decided in the first heat and then you got to run a couple more heats because why not? You know, these kids uh, practice. 
They put in their time. They work just as hard as the guys who are going to win it all. The ball on the right will take this heat. And next up should be the girls, 200. So as he loads his pistol, starting pistol. Doesn't look like six lanes, so uh, looks like there'll just be one heat. One cougar, two hornets. Nope, three hornets. In the middle appears to be the winner. She is. And that'll be the girls 200. And not much happening with the jumping at this particular moment. I guess I know why, because they had four, so they saved three for this heat. One hornet and two cougars. In the first heat, there only been one in this heat. Oh, well, Cougar wins it in this heat. Uh, I hate to use the word heat today. <laughs> There's no heat here today. It's a lot of chill. Are they done over there yet? I hope so. They'll have the... Oh, probably going to stick around there because we're going to have the... Uh, 3,000 and the 32, so the girls will be starting at the halfway point, and the boys will be starting here for the 3,000 and the 3,200. Gun is up. We got the 3,200. Here we go. Boys. Eight full times around. And the girls will be six, uh, seven and a half times around. Seven times to go. <laughs> Sun isn't peeking out anymore, but uh, two or three minutes ago, about 6.35, Sun tried to peek out. It's still trying a little bit here. Trying to peek out in the western skies. One lap completed. 
for those guys. Completed. This guy gonna jump. Let's go, we got girls coming here. laps to go. Here come the, the boy leaders. All these folks have six to go. Fires up. What a throw. I heard it. Former Cougar. No Hornet. No, no follow through, but good toss. Five to go. to go. There's a jump. He did it that time. Here we go. Five to go. This guy's gonna be halfway through right here. Four. Four to go. Four to go. Roll it! 
Look at that guy, camera here, he's gonna keep jumping in front of me. Three to go. Three to go. Two to go. Two to go. It's going to be nip and top. Just in time here. Nope. Yeah. Kick up your heels. Okay, we've got the four by four to follow this. This is our next to the last next to the last event. The guns out here should be the gun lap for the boys. It's going to be a matter of who's got the most left in their tank here. There we go. At this point in time, we've lost track of who the leading girl is. A leading lady. And we got us a race coming around the bend, fellows. That's where guys got more in the tank. Just a matter of who's going to be running interference here. And yeah, so Plattsburgh's going to win it. And the boys. Just a couple of seconds ahead of the Cougar. Close race.
close race. Fellas finishing. She got another one to go, is this it? Another one to go. She's got another one. I wanted to finish a place higher. It was strong, but uh, <laughs> those folks had another lap to go. That guy had another lap. Is this your winner? Nope. Yep, nope, maybe. There we go. Here comes our winner. Sprinting through the finish line. And the second place. camera in the cold. You are supported local television whether you're watching this on the internet or on cable TV. We need your support. That includes the Classburg viewers. Viewer supported hometown cable. You can go to our hometown cable network website and Donate through PayPal or send us a check, 1477 Ridge Road, Champlain, New York, 1477 Ridge Road, Champlain, 12919. And they, they sprinted to the finish, challenging each other, that's always good. Only event to go, 4x4. Four Judge is standing in the way here. Come on, Ed. Come on, there, ref. Pay attention to your job. I'll get in front of the runners. What we got? One runner to go. One to go. Finisher. And next, next and last is the four by four. Hopefully, we'll do the boys and girls at the same time.
Five to seven, our last event. Looks like they're just uh, Plattsburgh competing in the girls portion of it. Four by four, one time around each each one, then they'll hand it off. Hold it. <laughs> Thomas says, I'm ready to go. I've seen a lot of misfires today. You better check your check your supplier. about two and a half hours of uh, recording here. We'll have uh, less than that of actual video because of the downtime. We'll have about an hour and a half. We'll go for an hour and a half of video, I would assume. Alright, one time around and they'll hand off the baton. No hurdles this time. Recipients are ready. <laughs> Coach Latchmore came by and said, No, you are dedicated. I'm freezing. <laughs> That's her. It's a D word, but I think it's dumb, not dedicated. So, This handoff will be halfway through. Go, guys! The leading team is halfway through. Carter gained some ground on that girl. with a comfortable lead.
And the girls' final handoff. Check the May 10th edition of the Plattsburgh Press Republican. So May 9th. And it's hard whether you're going to win it or not. And here come the girls. The girl. up hometown cables coverage of the Plattsburgh High School at Northeastern Clinton varsity track and field event on this May 9th 2017 you're watching viewer supported local television hometown cable win lose or draw TV worthy of your support hometown cable if you are watching this we need your support just like the Latchmore family and the Folky family find supporters of hometown cable thank you for watching